while you're all busy with coffee and breakfast this morning, our idea at Spark Health is to put some thoughts into this conference on the last day of our four day meeting. So, something that you can take home and reflect on. So, what brings us here today? It's just that we want to give you some food for thought and we begin that by highlighting what are what is the impact of digitization on healthcare so Sparkle is we are a company based in Netherlands and what we do is we bring we are driven to bring innovations related to big data analytics and artificial intelligence to healthcare. And we have an overarching mission is to empower both the individual, the patient, the physician and his or her physician to become more responsible in the healthcare choices they make and the quality of the outcomes. Of course, we want to also drive down costs involved in healthcare and improve the healthcare quality overall. So we do this by focusing on three key issues that healthcare faces world over, not just in low and middle income countries, but also in the OECD countries, and which something you will all relate to. So if you look back at your own countries and your regions, 80% of all healthcare costs are riddled because of chronic disease conditions. The second biggest issue that we face today is a key shortage of healthcare workers and a very high prevalence of stress and burnout in the society that provides healthcare. The third bit that we really try to focus while driving our innovations and solutions to healthcare is how can we restructure and align the payment systems within different regions and environments. So what we do is our team, we, you can see our core team is here at the breakfast table. But our team is based out Europe, US and India. We strive to bring young driven, data driven companies who have in the last decade a very defined product, a big data an analytics solution or an AI solution to tackle these key dimensions in healthcare. That is the costs of chronic diseases, the burden of chronic diseases, the healthcare, the health of all healthcare employees and the payment systems. So you can ask me directly where does this where do our solutions impact the most? The impact of digitization is manifold and it is very interrelated. So healthcare providers and payers are the major organizations who can drive this change today. We have to think of the impact on their return of investment, on the societal impact that they can generate when they employ solutions. The next thing you really have to consider, because you are all game changers here, are the governments of every countries. If you look at it, as the years go by, a greater and greater proportion of our productivity as a nation, our GDP, is it's constantly being spent more and more on healthcare. But is it sustainable? No. And will more people slip through the security nets, the safety nets? Yes. So we want to increase the productivity and the GDP of countries by helping them employ these solutions. And then of course, at the core, at the heart of this whole system is the individual. And in that dimension, we have to address the physical health, the mental health, 
and of course their wellness, that is their diet, nutrition, exercise, and so forth. So what Spark Health does is we bring young, data-driven companies to healthcare, and we have an ecosystem of these companies from world over. And our unique eco ecosystem is complete, they complement each other, and they are very comprehensive in the solutions they offer and the issues they tackle. Over time, we have built this ecosystem by selecting the best in class organizations and companies that can provide something disruptive, but yet highly impactful. I will bring it down to just three examples because we have very limited time and um, I just want to put in a seed of thought, plant seeds of thought here while doing that. So for instance, one of the solutions that we're really focused on right now is a chronic disease condition that is related to our mental well-being. So X2 is a company in our ecosystem partners. They have an intelligent AI assistant that can address wellness and mental health issues for very large population sets and at the same time create a very huge impact on how the counsellors, the psychologists, doctors can reach out to their patients. Mental health is very ignored, it's a neglected subject in most societies. It's still a stigma or a taboo that is very hinge to it and what we try to do is break through this and engage people more in discussing what is the real problem identify the real problem and make it enable it make it make sure that both the individual and the counselor can reach out to each other engage them so this is an assistant that can actually learn a person over time so if i'm using it it learns dt over time it says, hey, Deepti, in three months, if you're feeling low, maybe you are in a similar cycle as you were a month ago. It's also a good screening tool. So if I'm talking funny and I say I'd like to jump off a bridge, it says, okay, I need to alert somebody. I'm an AI engine, but I need to alert someone who is a live physician. Can I do that? And if I say yes, a psychologist kicks in, or it provides me crisis alert numbers that I can call. It asks me if I have discussed my problems with my friends or with my parents or my spouse. So it enables me to reach out to society and the immediate family structure that can help me. But on the counselor's side, just think of a university or that's where we are implementing it in healthcare organizations like hospitals, in universities, in corporate environments, where people are stressed out, there's a high level of burnout, or university students are dropping out in very large numbers. So, what we try to do is enable the students to be motivated to realize what patterns they are building up. What is their closest circle of friends? Who are their counselors and mentors? Have all this information related to their health and counseling on one platform. Enable the counsellors to shorten their waiting list. If I need to employ counsellors to tackle all 25 to 40,000 students in my university, then I have to employ eight people extra every year. And it still wouldn't be enough. But with this, I can reach out to a much larger audience and ensure that the return of investment as a university, both in ensuring students actually complete their courses successfully, as well as my counselors can perform more efficiently. I ensure these processes are in place. There is an infrastructure. Another solution that we have is Castor for speeding up clinical trials by ensuring data integrity of all kinds of patient and medical data in clinical trials. And then we also have a full um, GDPR and HIPAA compliant solution. So when we say we are actually giving a solution that tackles mental health and well-being, 
we are actually dealing with a lot of sensitive data, which is their personal data. And what we want to ensure is that, as an organization, we are tackling this issue, ensuring complete privacy and compliance. So we have solutions that are a complete package. You don't have to worry about the compliance issues, the privacy issues, irrespective of which um, um, geographical regions you are based in. It could be US, it could be Europe, it could be Asia. And we also provide a, a, a solution that says, okay, this is automated. You can see the transparency measures, you can see how accountable each party is, where is the data going, how is it being processed, what happens to the data, who owns the data, who is accountable for the data. We have to provide transparency and accountability in all these little facets. That is when I can trust an AI application to manage my own mental health. As a student, I don't want my college professors to know that Saturday evenings I'm spending in bed depressed. But I really want help nevertheless. But I'm also worried what happens to all this data once it goes out there into the universe. And as organizations, whether we are a healthcare provider, a clinical research company, we need to ensure we are providing this transparency, this accountability. And we are also removing all the headaches for people who employ these solutions, the data protection offices. So they are the people who are like full-time employed in healthcare, and this is a great tool for them to perform their functions without headache. So, so I think this is really what we are trying to do is this morning, 